Hello, my friends. My name is Nikita Macharin, and I'm a musician, aspiring composer and teacher. We continue to study the basics of jazz harmony. And today I will show you the basic patterns for accompaniment in different styles. But before we start, we need to refresh our memory of topic of the past lesson. We were talking about the five main types of seventh chords, how they are built, how they sound, and how you can play it on the piano. So now we will try to use this knowledge and play a simple accompaniment on a well-known song called Sunny. But we need someone to play the melody so that we can hear the relation of, uh, between our chordal movements and melody lines. And today we will be helped by a talented vocalist Diana. She will sing the melody and the lyrics of the song Sunny. And I will show you how to accompany her according to different styles what rhythmic patterns you can play in your right and left hand and what steps of the scale are usually played in the bass and etc. Let's at first get familiar with the chord progression of the song Sunny. We will play or the first eight bars or the whole uh, first couplet because we need just a little simple basic piece uh, to see how we can play it according to the different styles and how it would sound. So uh, the first chord of this progression will be A minor and, the, and we will play it in A. The second chord will be uh, G minor 7, then C7 and then F major. And then uh, we have minor 2, 5, 1 to the A minor. B half diminished and E7 and then A minor again. This is the first eight bars of this song, four. We will start from the most important jazz style from swing. Usually basic and very recognizable pattern for bass in swing is walking bass. In other words, you play almost continuous fluent line, which helps you to connect smoothly different chords. Most simple way to create swinging bass line is to play triad of the chord like this. Something like this. Or the first tetrachord from tonic, of course, because the most important steps is the uh, steps of the uh, chord. Also, you can use skips within an octave and simple chromatic approximation. Your right hand plays syncopated rhythmic patterns, which leads to the downbeat. Actually, there is no concrete rule for this part, but you must create this swinging feeling, like some sharp and short jumps. And of course, you must slightly accent the two and four beats, because there are main beats in swing music and they help to create this swinging feeling. Now let's listen how it could sound with the melody. Our next style will be Latin. Latin folk music has many various styles and many different rhythmic patterns and accents are used according to them. Those patterns called clave and there are many of them. We will take one of them to play in the right hand. Let us show you. Check, 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 check. 
If it would be hard for you, you can play just the first part of this pattern. In most popular Latin styles like bossa nova or samba, the left hand will play this pattern. This pattern is based on the first and the fifth steps of a chord. On the example of A minor, this is the first step, A, and this is the fifth, E. Sometimes you can play tonic on the up beat before one, like this. Now let's listen how it could sound with the melody of the song Sunny. I don't know actually how it could happen, but uh, I forgot to say that in Latin music, ninth step is often added to a seventh chord. Ninth step is equal to a second, but it added uh, on top of the after seven. Uh, so uh, it would sound like this. This is the first, third, fifth, seventh, and this is ninth. If we will play the inversion, it, it will sound like this. Uh, this chord uh, sound, I don't know how to say, uh, more saturated and uh, it chord has a specific color. Next will be waltz. Waltz is the old European dance on a 3-4 and also a music style in the same rhythm. In traditional jazz music, waltz usually are played in a swing on a 3-4. Your right hand plays some syncopated uh, swing rhythm, but there is no two and four uh, swinging beats, and the main beat is one. Let us show you. One, two, three, two, two, three. Like this. It could be hard for you for beginning, and you can play just uh, the one chord in a bar, like this. One, two, three, two, two. Three. Something like that. Uh, the bass pattern is simple. You can play only one note in a bar. One, two, three, two, two, three. Like this. Or you can play three quarter notes uh, like this. Or uh, you can make a simple polyrhythm and divide one bar on the two equal parts by playing two dotted quarter notes, like this. One, two, three, two, two, three. Something like that. Now let's listen how it could sound uh, with the melody of the song Sunny. One, two, three, two, two, uh. Our last style for today would be funk. Funk is based on a fast quarterly pulsation with 16th note. 
Uh, it has many different variations, but the same basic features. Bass pattern is very syncopated and has many ghost notes and 16th fills. We will take uh, this simple pattern from old 70s. In the right hand you can emphasize the same accent you play in the bass and alternate it with the playing on the downbeat. Your purpose is to fill and transfer this 16th pulse. One, two, and three, and four. Now let's listen how it could sound with the melody. for watching this video. I'm really happy that there are people who love music so much and are interested in studying musical art and opening in new musical theories and concepts uh, for themselves. Uh, stay healthy and practice at least two hours per day. Goodbye and stay tuned.